Recently, Lubbock Power and Light has come under scrutiny from the public with a computer glitch underbilling 44,000 citizens of Lubbock in June. And in July, many citizens' bill increased up to $100 because of an increased rate for fuel costs. A protest was held for 48 hours outside LPNL. Janie Cavijo has lived in Lubbock all her life, and this latest conflict is one of many that she says she's dealt with. Most recently, the storm that left many parts of Lubbock without power. We were without electricity for four days. We tried to contact them, they never answered, and finally we came in person to customer service, and we were told that the reason that they were not answering the phone was because they knew that we were complaining and they uh, couldn't go and, and fix nothing for us yet. Angie Astorga, attendance clerk at Estacado High School, says LPNL should take into consideration the struggles this increase has caused. Well, I think we need someone else. I mean, if they're not willing to help and work with us, you know, we should have another company that, you know, is willing to help or, you know, do something at least, you know. Heather Eubanks, who works for Children Protective Services, says she wants an explanation on what the increased charges are going towards. I wouldn't mind paying the $87 reconnection fee if I knew what it went towards. Right, right. You know, I wouldn't mind paying the $30 convenience fee if I knew that there was somebody out there that's benefiting from it. After the protest, LPNL held a press conference last Friday to answer these questions. The mayor of Lubbock, Glenn Robertson, addressed both issues. The, the focus has been diverted from the real problem. The fo and, and I don't think it's been diverted intentionally. But the focus has been diverted from the, the biggest thing that hit our citizens was the fuel cost. And we've diverted it to talking about fuel glitches and, and rate increases. Now I will tell you the rate increase was necessary. Timing I still disagree with, but that doesn't matter, it's, it's history. But, but LPNL has to start reinvesting in its infrastructure. We've got a lot of deferred maintenance that we have to take care of. But the shock, and, and here's where I was upset as mayor, and I think most of our citizens were upset. We were told, we were led to believe that this was going to affect the average homeowner seven to ten dollars a month. LPNL board chairman Gail King says he trusts the people at the company. We have good people at LPNL, and they're doing the very best that they can. Uh, you know, it's hard to be business people when it gets political. For those that were underbilled in June through billing cycles 11 through 22, will be responsible for paying that amount added to their LPNL bills starting October over the course of several months. They will get a letter that will inform them that their bill was underbilled and how it will be collected in the future, so they will know. King says the citizens of Lubbock will be informed in advance by their improved communication efforts. Try to be more informative each month of the fuel pass through, so they'll be aware of. We'll probably make that public information. When we get the information, what we need to pass through, we will try to be a lot more transparent and get it out there so people will be aware that month what's going to happen. LPNL and the City Council will continue to meet and discuss possible solutions. Reporting for Channel 5, I'm Lauren Bogle.